This video is going to tell you everything you need to know about your math class, what happens in class and out of class, and also it's going to talk about your binder. Math class is going to be a little bit different this year. Okay, well, we're not going to actually be doing any gymnastics, but we are going to flip our classroom this year. So you're probably used to having a traditional math class. That's where at school, the teacher stands at the board and gives notes, and, and, and students are taking notes, and then maybe you do some activities. And then you go home and you practice the concepts that you just learned by doing homework. That can be frustrating because a lot of times kids uh, have a, a tough time remembering how to do the material or they might try and do it and they can't really understand it. Sometimes parents can help them out, but often that's not the case. So they come to school without having the homework completed or understood. This year in math, we're going to flip it. What does that mean? Well, in the flipped classroom, it's a little bit different in that at home, that's where you're learning the new concepts by watching a video made by your teacher. And when you get to school, that's where you practice the concepts. And you'll do that by doing a variety of different activities, most often involving other students or working in groups. What's great is that when you're practicing, if you don't understand how to do something, the teacher's right there, and so are other students. They can all help you out. It's important to remember that at the home part of the flipped classroom, you're going to be watching a video, but you're going to be taking notes just as you would in school. You'll be given a note sheet, and so when you watch that video, you take notes on that note sheet just like you would had you been in the classroom with the teacher. Often in class at school, when you first get in, you'll be taking a quick quiz on that material, but you'll be able to use your notes that you uh, filled out doing the video at home while taking that quick quiz. All the videos that will be required will be listed, uh, posted on Blackboard, so you'll have easy access to them. Uh, they'll be shown either as a YouTube video or sometimes they'll be contained in a Google form. Don't forget to put the note sheet back into your binder um, and bring your binder with the note sheet to school every single day. Now what happens if you miss a day of class? Well, you'll be missing the activities and it's important for you to find out what it is that we did. Now, if your absence is excused, um, we'll expect that you make up those activities and it would be worth giving them a try if you feel up to it. Obviously, if you're too sick to do work, we don't expect that they're going to be done, but it's worth giving them a try if you're up for it. If your absence is unexcused, our expectation is that you will get all those activities done on your own before you return to class. Either way, you need to figure out what it is that you missed and come in and do those activities or do them at home. Uh, we'll be happy to help you out with them at QST or after school if need be. All the activities that we do in class will be posted to Blackboard, just like the videos, so you'll be able to have access to those from home easily. Let's talk about the binder and how you organize your work. Cooper requires that you have two three ring binders for all of your work and your math work will be stored in one of those. 
We insist on three ring binders because it makes it easy for you to take out and insert work that you receive during your classes. We want to avoid the uh, messy folder situation uh, and we're also going to help you find ways to keep your three ring binder neat and organized. In this math section, you're going to keep your work in chronological order. We're somewhat flexible as to how you organize that work. Uh, perhaps you want to uh, make different sections, and we'll leave it up to you as to what um, section tabs you organize. As long as you have a system that's effectively working, we're OK with that and uh, your teacher might have some uh, specific ideas uh, and suggestions for you. It's important that you bring your binder to class every single day. In this class, <clears throat> you're going to have a, one of your school binders contain your math work, and it's going to contain the work from just one unit at a time. When you're done with that unit, you're going to take all of the work from that unit and bring it at home and keep it in a home binder. That way, your school binder will have just one unit's worth of work and everything else will be kept at home. That home binder will be a great resource for you to have all your materials so that you can look back at it in case there's something you don't understand or keep it for studying for the midterm or the final exam. It's great because then if something happens to your school binder and you've lost it, then you'll have all of your work still at home. And in addition, you're not carrying around a humongous heavy binder all the time back and forth to school. We're really excited about flipping the class this year. Now we don't mean to say that the traditional classroom is all bad. For some students, it works just great. But for others, it can be troubling. It can be frustrating and aggravating. Sometimes it's quite painful and other times it just doesn't work at all. But the flipped classroom has been shown to be incredibly successful for almost every single student and we're excited for all of you to have a fantastic and successful math class this year.